Where the fuck do I even begin? The disrespect to even label it as Ninjago. If you could not tell, I'm fucking pissed. Recently Ninjago released season 14, The Island. Can you guess what it's about? Now as a person who has been watching this show since basically the beginning, I've had my fair share of likes and dislikes. I mean, what fanbase doesn't? Nothing is perfect. But I think we can all agree that this series started to go downhill after season 11, or the fire chapter. Now a lot of people have their reasons for why they dislike this season and the ones following after. Whether it's the animation style, story structure or just the episode length being cut in half. Animation wise there are pros and cons but it does help make the cartoon as a whole look more bouncy and appealing using a technique called squash and stretch, which can make characters move more cartoony, but in a weird way to the point it actually improves the fight scenes and overall expressions. Story structure and episode length however just basically threw everything we loved about the show out the window. And I get it, less runtime will make it hard to develop characters. Then stop making filler episodes damn it. Am I done ranting? Ha! No. We haven't even begun talking about season 14 yet. Master of the Mountain made a huge turnaround and showed us how the series could really evolve even with these new changes, as mentioned previous. Yes, probably would have been better if they were 22 minute episodes, but they still made it work. Then they left us with a great conclusion of leaving us with the phrase, wherever the wind takes us, signaling to us, hey, these guys are just going to adventure around Ninjago to unexplored locations which may uncover shocking backstories and answer questions we have been asking since the beginning. Until they do a whole 180 and say we're back at the monastery where Masako and Wu joined the Explorers Club for some reason and are now lost on an uncharted island. The whole wherever the wind takes us bullshit idea was scrapped because we aren't creative enough. You give us a masterpiece of a season with a compelling and emotional story about Cole's mother and his motivation of being a ninja. And you give us a 4 episode season that doesn't even make sense. Are you trying to get me to pull the trigger? I'll give it a benefit of the doubt right? Maybe it could get better. No, I was fucking wrong. Not only does each character feel so lifeless, but they just don't feel like themselves. At all. And I get it, shorter episodes, we went over this. But I guarantee you, take out most of the ninja, besides Lloyd and Jay, and it's basically the same. Even then, both Lloyd and Jay don't really have a purpose either. Jay was offered as a sacrifice, not because he's the elemental master of lightning, like most of us led to believe, from speculation before this was released, but because why not? And Lloyd of course has to be the hero again because apparently he's the only capable ninja. It's just getting annoying now. We get he's the leader and all but everyone else is a highly skilled ninja who can literally shoot the very things that created the world they stand on out of their asses. The ending is just fucking awful. Not only was it convenient and quick, but it was just disappointing overall, especially with a returning character like Ronan. The ending is literally what you would find in fucking Scooby Doo. The people who made this thought it was okay. 2021 just keeps getting better, doesn't it? I've seen a lot of people say, oh, it's just a short special to set up a bigger story with the storm spirit Wahira. That doesn't excuse how dog water it is. What shocks me even more is how people compare this to Day of the Departed and say it's still better. Like are you fucking kidding me? I believe people should have their own opinions and preferences, but you were just wrong. Day of the Departed actually had a story that made sense, and the only excuse for it not being good is because it was a special. This however makes no sense and has the same runtime, with the advantage of being split into 4 episodes, meaning that the pacing should have been better, and even then it still sucked. I'm actually going to proudly say this is the worst season of Ninjago yet. I'll excuse it a bit since it's only 4 episodes, but I feel if this was just a race from existence, no one would care or get affected by it because literally nothing happened in it. Anyways, yeah, that's my thoughts on the recent season of Ninjago, it's just basically trash, but 
Anyways, my brain just hurts and I'm going to go try forget this ever happened. If you did it, somehow enjoy this video, uh, please do leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and share with a friend who also might like this content. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.